So Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu anhu, there is an incident that occurred at that particular time. And it was very interesting because he married the daughter of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that was something that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was very happy about. Because Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's daughter, Ruqayya binti Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, she was engaged to the son of Abu Lahab known as Utbah ibn Abi Lahab. And Abu Lahab was interested in getting this girl into the home because she was known as a very, very good girl brought up by Khadija bint Khawailid radiallahu anha and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She was such a good girl in Quraysh that she was known because of her character, nobility, conduct, chastity and so on. But what happened is Abu Lahab decided to go against Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to the degree that you know Surat Abu Lahab or Surah to Abi Lahab was revealed. Tabbat yada Abi Lahab wa tabba ma aghna anhu malu wa ma kasab sayosla naran that Lahab. That Surah was sent down to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam admonishing Abu Lahab because he had made a statement to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, Tabbal laka ya Muhammad. Destruction be upon you, O Muhammad. Is this why you gathered us here to tell us that there is one God and what we are worshipping is wrong? So Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said yes. And indeed the people started scoffing and laughing at Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But Allah revealed Surah Abi Lahab where Allah says destruction be upon Abu Lahab. Both of his hands be destroyed. So what happened is the little children of Mecca began to read these verses. They were so sweet in, in, in their poetic form. In fact, the Quranic form, so sweet and so easy to memorize that the children who were running in the streets and the gullies of Mecca were busy saying, Tabbat yada Abi Lahabin wa Tabba. And it infuriated him so much that he told his son to release Ruqayya binti Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I don't want you to marry this woman anymore. So they were engaged, but that engagement was broken. And when that happened, Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu anhu went to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, offering himself, asking for the hand of his daughter in marriage. And Khadija bint Khuwailid radiallahu anha was so happy. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was delighted. And he got his daughter Ruqayya married to Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu anhuma. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon both of them. They were so happy as a married couple that the people used to actually give an example of them saying that we have not known a happier couple than Uthman and Ruqayya. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us all happy in our own marriages. Remember there is a great sacrifice. If you want your marriage to work, there is a sacrifice you need to make. It's not something that will just come like that. You don't just make dua, oh Allah, make us happy, make us happy. You spend no time at home. You make no effort to make your marriage work. It's not going to work. But if you make dua to Allah, oh Allah, make us happy and you're making an effort to be happy, to please Allah and so on, then by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the doors will open. So my brothers and sisters, this was the example of Uthman and Ruqayyah binti Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.